Hey everybody, Solo Boondocker Freddy here. Um, today I'm doing a video quite different than I was doing before. So from now on I'm going to do a little thing in the beginning of all my videos. Just give my thoughts on some things I've been looking into. And I believe everyone should be aware of what's going on. Even though I, I honestly don't know the exact truth. There's a lot of different things going on, and I'm talking about the continent of Antarctica. Last year, a lot of famous people and dignitaries and even Prince Henry and everybody, I mean, the uh, J J Jerry, John Kerry went there, uh, Buzz Aldrin, second man on the moon, went there. I mean, a lot of people went out to Antarctica last year. Um, and it was believed that Obama actually made a trip out there also, but then they, they stated that it was, uh, John Kerry that actually went, um, I've been looking into that whole situation in Antarctica, and to tell you the truth, the whole thing really started back in the 1940s, before the onset of World War II, um, uh, Nazi Germany decided to go down there and explore and somehow I believe they did get a, a base put up there for their submarines and then World War II happened. At the end of World War II, supposedly eight or nine subs went were missing, uh, unaccounted for, and they supposedly have taken... Uh, high-ranking Nazis officials, including rumors stating that Hitler did not die in Germany. That was a plant of someone surgically altered to look like him. Um, and that uh, he actually got onto a submarine and escaped Germany before the Allies came in, before the Russians actually came in, because they were the ones who, took, who got it um, and got out of there got on these subs and headed down to Antarctica to their base that they had set up over there. Um, it was They were able to get in underwater through the ice um, with their subs. So they had p mapped out that whole area and God knows how many people or submarines they actually did lose since they were kept it pretty much quiet. And then um, Admiral Byrd he was a, a famous explorer and um, he actually went to the North Pole and South Pole, flew across both areas um, and supposedly when he was up in the North Pole he found an opening in in the ice sheet there in, which is now water which I mean it's just I don't understand that and then again he also found another opening in Antarctica and then the US government gave him a fleet almost 5,000 men aircraft carrier submarine refueling ships uh, destroyer cruisers uh, a lot of people showed up there supposedly they were there to do scientific exploration and trying to accomplish you know and which they did. They did find lots of coal, uh, material, ra uh, iridium, and stuff like that. They found a bunch of stiff stuff there. And then um, they were supposed to be there for six months. And I believe after three, mo three weeks of being there, they ended up limping home back to Antarctica. I mean, back to Ar Argentina. Um with almost like less than what they went there with. I believe there was like three ships that got sunk. Uh, planes were downed. Uh, men were killed. Equipment was left behind. They made a big video about it. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Um, they It was called... Uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. But you can look it up. Just look up Admiral Byrd. Um, Antarctica, anywhere, even on YouTube, you could probably find a vid the video that which I saw. It's in black and white. 
they showed the whole mission and what they said they were going to do over there. What they did not tell you was what happened in between those mo the videos they made. And then we move forward to present day and time, which I think this happened in the... Um, from what I understand, it happened in the 90s. Uh, but the information is just now coming out because, uh, I don't know why, but maybe it was, the guy was scared to talk about it. Now he's coming forward with this information that um, he flew with the U.S. Air Force down in uh, McMurdo Base in Antarctica. And they, he was part of a rescue team that would go out onto the ice and uh, rescue scientists or uh, take injured injuries out from all the scientists that were uh, stationed over there which that's a whole nother story with the UN claiming that no one can claim uh, Antarctica for themselves uh, now it's only open for scientific research um, you can look that up also but uh, supposedly this team of uh, rescue team was going out to the ice to uh, rescue some scientists that needed to be taken back to McMurdo base. The, apparently they had been gone missing for two weeks and they were flying out and in order to get there as fast as they could they went over the no-fly zone in Antarctica. Now, what is up with that? What do you mean a no-fly zone in Antarctica? It's nothing it should be nothing but a big piece of rock of ice and yet no one can fly over this specific area in Antarctica, which is basically right there at the North Pole. Uh, but they went ahead and did it to, to get, instead of flying around and would have taken a couple hours more, they went straight across. Um, they experienced um, electrical failure in their aircraft, but they still managed to get through it. But what the one guy did state was, and they all saw it, and the whole crew saw this, was there was a big hole in the ice. And it was concave going in, like you can actually walk down into it. And um, and it was big enough that you could actually fly into it. But they went out, grabbed these scientists. There were 12 British scientists, from what I understand now. And on their way back, the, the crew was you know, taking care of them, making sure they were safe, and all of them seemed to be in shock. Now, most people would say, yeah, well, they were lost for two weeks, you know. They weren't actually lost. They were sent in somewhere, and they experienced or seen something that they weren't prepared to see, and it shocked them. And these 12 British scientists were removed from the ice, from this area after some sort of episode occurred and um, I haven't been able to find anything more or anything at all about these 12 missing scientists for two weeks down in Antarctica and then there was a team of Russian scientists that were at Lake Vasta and it's a big monster lake and supposedly they had broken through the ice I believe it was like something like a mile, not even, you know, it was deep to get down to this ice. I mean, it was, it was pretty thick, but they managed to get in there and they took camp, uh, I guess it was wide enough that they could send divers down into the water. Um, they wanted to see what was in the, in this lake, which is a massive lake. And not only that, they actually have actually gotten, um, magnetic interference or something going on in one end of the lake where it was heating up they were catching actually seeing a difference in heat temperature um, some people are claiming that that's caused from a city underground heating up you know something weird like that it could be you know geological but they supposedly went down inside this water into this lake through this hole in the ice um, now these scientists were missing, were not in communication for three or four days. Um, when a team was finally brought out there to see what was going on, 
they had found out that one of the divers that was in the water was uh, killed. And they're stating that it, and that the reason why they had no communications was this creature had the ability to take out their communications. It was smart, unlike it. They said it was like some type of octopus. Now, most octopus have, uh, I believe, six arms. This one had eight. And it, whenever it, like most octopus, when they take off, they release an ink to cloud up the water. Well, this octopus, supposedly, when it shot out its ink out, um, if it touched you or got near you, it paralyzes you so that you couldn't move so he can come in. And supposedly this guy got hit with this stuff and I don't know how it penetrated his suit, uh, but he was hit with it and uh, this thing tore him apart. And they managed to get part of his body or his body out, whatever was left over, um, out of the hole. And got and these guys were like in shock about what just happened. And then um, and that was before last year. And then last year we had all these scientists, all these dignitaries, all these people um, getting taking visits down to Antarctica. Now, one theory that I'm thinking about is supposedly they did open up a tourist thing for the a luxury tourist thing. That's what um, Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon, was on with a group of other uh, people. They just went there to check it out to see it. and then. But supposedly Buzz Aldrin did a tweet on Twitter that uh, we were all in trouble, something to that effect. There's nothing but evil there. Now, one theory that I did find out was that um, in the Bible that it stated that the, the sorry that the Bible that was uh, stated that when these fallen angels were sent to Earth, that they were imprisoned in Antarctica, and that's why that whole continent has been under ice um, for a while now. So, you know. That's my thoughts about what this thing is going on. I mean, uh, if you look on the WikiLeaks um, emails on uh, and type in Antarctica, you'll see a whole thing come up about Antarctica and uh, UFOs and aliens and, un and there's a, a lost civilization lo underneath the ice. Uh, pyramids are popping up everywhere. I don't know if they're built you know, like the regular pyramids over in Egypt, but supposedly these were shaped in size of a regular pyramid. And these scientists have supposedly found something under the ice. Uh, lost civilization, uh, that's what they said the Ger Nazi Germany also found. And when the Nazis went there, they did find a base under, under the ice, a city. So that's what's going on that I think everybody should be made aware of. Uh, go ahead and look into it. Um, I know it's nothing to do with my RV in life, but that's part of me. I've been looking into certain things. Now, a lot of people who know me personally understand that I'm not some freaking nut. Uh, I just like doing research, finding facts, and... Um, putting two and two together which doesn't take a rocket scientist to see how all these events correlate to each other in some way that there's something going on in Antarctica that the, our US government don't want the American people to know and they did it so much so that they actually put a no-fly zone in an area in Antarctica that not even other countries that live that go there that have claims there can't fly over and that was based on our US government or the United Nations I should say but yet it's our government that's actually headlong in there the US Air Force but that's my thoughts for today so check it out and I'll be with you guys shortly in another video Till then, this is Solo Boondocker. See ya.